In this video, you'll learn how to add assessments to notebook software. We could come right over here and open up a blank one. I'm just going to again use the icon down below to be consistent, smart response. Come up here to ask questions. And we're going to click on the uh, insert question icon. Now, if that wasn't up there, you could right click, find it, and you could drag it up there. Uh, but ours is already up there, so we won't do that. We'll just say done. So I'll click on the insert question. We'll go to the wizard. It allows you to choose five different types to uh, insert, and we'll do a yes no first. And say next and we could make this an opinion question if we want but we'll put the correct answer can change the point value and we could add some notes in here but we're just going to go ahead and say insert another we could finish if we just want one question but we're going to insert another we'll do a numeric value And when we're doing the questions, you can change the text and the font up here. You could make this an opinion question. We'll put the correct value in. We could change a point value. And you could keep doing this until you get your assessment finished. When you're done, say finish. And because we've inserted more than two or more pages, it wants to know if we want to put a title page, which then during the classroom time, you can go through all the questions at one time instead of stopping and starting between each question. Uh, I would recommend this if you wanted to be able to go through them all at once without starting and stopping each question. So I'm going to say yes. And that's something you can experiment with uh, to see which works best for you. Sample one. And you could put in your subject and other topics you don't have to and just say add. And as you can see, it put a page on here. We can still edit this by double clicking on it. We could edit the date and change things here. We can even go to the pages and edit them if you want to be able to use the, uh, the math symbols on certain questions. You can go in here and, and use the math functions here. And that's all there is to using the wizard to add questions. One last thing, you'd want to make sure that you would go to this file and save it as sample quiz or whatever you want to call it. Find a location where you'd want to place that and save it.